everyone and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how I made this flip sequin pillow using the Sawgrass SG-1000. That's my new Sawgrass sublimation printer and my heat press. Now I do want to emphasize before we get into the video that you must use sublimation ink to create this project. Every time I do a sublimation video I get this question. You can convert some inkjet printers, mostly some Epson's, um, to a sublimation. However, I highly recommend a sawgrass printer. The reason I recommend this printer is because it is made for sublimation ink. It has a pro program built into it that keeps it running all of the time and it keeps those print heads clean. If you convert an inkjet printer quite often, if you don't use it on a daily basis, your print heads will dry up and you'll end up having to either replace the print heads or replace the whole printer. So I highly recommend going with the Sawgrass printers. That's what I have used. I have used the Epson printers as well, and I recommend the Sawgrass at this point. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is a really fun. I have done a sequin pillow once before, but I thought I would walk you through this one and I'm gonna walk you through the design process this time. So let's get started. So here I am in the Sawgrass Creative Studio. I'm going to go to Design Canvases. And I'm going to just look for something that is 11 by 17. You can also just type it in the search. So I'm just going to go up here and type 11 by 17. And here is a 11 by 17 landscape or 11 by 17 portrait. I'm going to choose the landscape. And then I want to bring in an image. So I'm going to go to galleries. I'm going to go to my images. I'm going to click on upload, click on upload again. I'm going to navigate to where the design is that I want to use. And it's right here. And I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to click on that image over here under my images and it's going to put it on the sheet. Now again, this is 11 by 17 canvas. I'm gonna make it just slightly smaller. I just don't wanna run into any border issues. Now I want to add some text, so I'm gonna click on text, and then I'm gonna to go to the Creative Studio text, and these are all the fonts that are available in Creative Studio. You can see there's several pages of them. And I'm going to choose, let's find a fun one. I want something kind of bold. I'm just gonna use this one. And all I have to do is go over here in the text box and type in what I want, which is going to be Luke. And I can make it as bigger or smaller. I can rotate it. And I think I'm gonna put it like right up here. Try to match the angle of the truck, maybe right there in the center. And of course there are other items here that you can change. If you want to change it to bold or parentheses or you want to change the appearance, you can change that. Um, we can arc it like that if you wanted to. You could, you can rotate it. Um, I'm going to change the fill color and I think I'm going to pick, there we go, that looks good. So that's my design. So now I'm going to send it to the Sawgrass printer just by clicking print. So while we're waiting for that to print to the SG-1000, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our uh, sequin pillow pouch. So as always, we want to have a lint roller handy and let me flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you exactly what we need to do. So this is our sequin pouch. We wanna make sure that all of the sequins are turned to the white side if they're going to be under the print. So you don't have to get to the very edge because we're not printing edge to edge. Remember our print is about 11 inches wide. So we do have a little bit of leeway, but you wanna make sure that the sequins are pushed to the white side and you might have to manually mess with just a couple of them that are a little stubborn, don't wanna flip over. I have a few right here. Once you have them all flipped to the white side, you're going to use your lint roller and lint roll. You want to make sure that there are no dog hairs, no lint, anything that might interfere with your transfer. Make sure everything's out of the way. And I can see some more sequins that need to be flipped. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna grab my print. You can see it's nice and big. That's what I love about the SG-1000. You can print up to uh, 13 by 19 with the bypass tray, but as it comes, you can print up to 11 by 17, which is what this paper size is, 11 by 17. Some people refer to that, I believe, as tabloid size. So we're going to put our print pretty side down, or right side down on our pillow. And you want to, I'm gonna, Kind of fold it in half just barely on the top and pinch it just so that I know where that center point is. I'm going to take my pillow cover and I'm going to kind of fold that in half and line that up. It's on my grid on my mat at the 20 inch mark so I know that's where the center is. Making sure all those sequins are still down and I'm just going to line this up. So we're right in the 20 inch mark. Once you have this all lined up, you're gonna use some heat transfer tape and tape this down. Don't use scotch tape, it will melt up on your sequins and you don't want that to happen. But you just wanna make sure that you have it secured enough that it is not going to move on the press, which could cause some ghosting. So I'm just gonna give it a few pieces of tape Okay, let me put the camera back up. All right, I've got my heat press preheated to 400 degrees. I've got the timer set on 55 seconds. I've got a piece of butcher paper down on the heat press that's going to help protect my heat press from getting any ink on it. I'm gonna take my pillow and I'm gonna put it sequin side up, paper side face down. We're gonna cover it with another piece of butcher paper. and we're going to press 400 degrees 55 seconds and that should give us a really nice press on the sequined pillow okay we're just about done let's lift it up and see how it looks all right so again you want to move your butcher paper if you have any signs of ink or the design on the butcher paper you need to go ahead and throw that away and not use that again and i'm going to take our design off Oh, it looks so good. And there's actually enough ink left on here that I could probably do sort of a vintage another press if I wanted. Again, this is the text print R paper. You can see the logo on the back. You can get all of these supplies at Heat Transfer Warehouse. That's where I got mine. And let's take a look. I got a piece of tape on here. So here's our finished pillow. You can see it's super vibrant. I love how this turned out. I like to let this cool down a little bit before I flip the sequins, but you can see this is the flip sequin pillow, so everything will go back to the silver, and then we'll flip it back up, and it'll be back to the white. Super cute project. Now, this is a 15-inch pillow cover, and it has a zipper at the top. I've got a 15-inch pillow form. I'm just going to stuff this right inside, and I'll show you what it looks like. So here you go, here is the finished pillow. So cute, Luke is going to love this. And you can see, we can go ahead and flip it. It's cooled off now. Super cute, and he loves texture. He's gonna have a lot of fun with this. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Again, if you're interested in any of the products that I used here, everything's linked in the description below the video. This is the SG-1000. This is different than the SG-500 that I usually use. This one can do 11 by 17 as it comes. Or if you get the bypass tray, you can do 13 by, and I'm not even sure how long, it's longer than 13. So you can do even bigger than 11 by 17. The SG500 is eight and a half by 14 is the biggest that you can do. So I really wanted to have a little bit bigger uh, capability, bigger printing capabilities. So I went with the SG1000. This is my craft heat press. Again, linked in the description below the video. Um, heat transfer warehouse, I don't think has the pink one, but they have the white one, which is equally beautiful. But I really like all of these products and I love the way this pillow turned out. So this is another quick and easy, really fun sublimation project. Now, again, I did use a sublimation printer with sublimation ink. I can't stress that enough. I get that after every sublimation video. You cannot use inkjet ink to create this process. You can use Cricut infusible ink is another option for the sequin pillows. If you're interested in that, I'll throw a link to another video right here. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there is a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.